Hi, and welcome to week 12. We are just rolling through the term. Uh, this week, we're going to kind of switch gears and start a new project. Moving forward from now until the end of the term, you get to be a lot more creative with your ideas, and it's less about the tools and more about your composition and what you're able to create. So, our project. It's an idiom. Design an illustration around the concept of an idiom. Find a creative vis visual solution that will engage your audience, allowing them to enter the concept of your piece. So, good question. What's an idiom? Well, it's defined as an expression in the usage of language that is peculiar to itself, either in having a meaning that cannot be derived from the conjoined meaning of its elements, or on its grammatically atypical use of words. That is a mouthful. Um, basically, examples are helpful. So it's raining cats and dogs means it's raining very hard. It doesn't literally mean cats and dogs are falling down. It means it's just hard rain. Cost an arm and a leg. You obviously did not give your arm and your leg for whatever object you were buying. It just means it's expensive. So take a look. There are tons of idioms out there. Um, and pick one that you would be excited to work with. So, problem. What concept are you trying to communicate? Who's your target audience? Well, why would the target audience be important? That's because we need to now start preparing ourselves to create pieces that not only we like and think are designed successfully, but will reach our audience. You're gonna brainstorm and uh, research your topic gather information, brainstorm ideas, and start thumbnails and sketching. You're going to develop a design solution. Uh, break down images into their minimal components. Consider your composition, the principles, color. You're going to bring it into the software, improve your design, and submit. Okay, so specs. 8.5 by 11. It can be portrait or landscape. CMYK, course, like all term long, you're going to use it Illustrator, um, the Illustrator file with correctly named layers and artboards. Okay, so do this week. Five sketches of your idea. I want one idea and five different sketches of it. Do not give me five idioms. It is one idiom and five sketches of your idea and written research. You know, talking about these questions up here talking about what you're hoping to communicate. These sketches can be on paper or on the computer. You may want to get started in Illustrator if you have one or two that you're more passionate about because you'll only have a week to fully develop this idea. Um, I do not want text to say what your idiom is. I want you to really focus on trying to get this idea across visually. So, you know, if it's raining cats and dogs, we could have a cloudy sky. Decide if you want it to be in front of a house or a landscape or a farm or, you know, what do you want it to be as your background? And then, you know, give me some raindrops and some cats and dogs falling from the sky. Okay. Also, you may not use it's raining cats and dogs. If you have any questions on anything, feel free to reach out. Um, inspiration. Just some to look at. See, these are just these are not idiom illustrations. These are just illustrations in general. Look at the different techniques. There are so many different styles of illustration. See what you like best and if you can kind of copy that. And that's it for the week. We're getting creative. You're actually going to start really looking at the design process from start to finish with your own idea. So dive in and get excited and I will talk to you soon.